Now that was the old way to do it. The new way to do it is so much easier, so much quicker, and so much better, and it's using ChatGPT. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. go. Welcome back and in this video we're going to talk about how to create an online course. Now I've created 103 online courses so far. Every single month that number goes up. Uh, and I can share some really amazing insider tips and secrets for you in learning how to create your first online course or your second or third or fifth. See even before I started teaching online I used to teach live a financial services class for a large financial company. And one of the things I learned about teaching is that teaching, in my opinion, is nothing but answering a series of questions in a logical flow order. Okay, let's think about that. If you're learning how to walk, the first thing you got to learn is how to crawl, right? You got to learn how to crawl as a baby, and then you got to kind of learn how to push yourself up. You got to learn how to like stand while you're holding something. And then you take those first few steps. And then once you take those first few steps, you're starting to learn how to run. And in the process, you're stumbling along the way every once in a while, right? The same thing happens with an online course. The same thing happens with any learning process is you've got to take it step by step by step. Now, if you think about an online course as a series of answered questions, then you're on the right track to creating an amazing online course that flows from beginner concepts to intermediate concepts to advanced concepts. So thinking of it that way, I'll give you an example of how I used to create online courses before AI came along, and then I'll share with you how I do it now along with AI. So in the old days, which is really just a few months ago, I would take a yellow pad and I would write down every question somebody would have about the topic that the course was about. Every single question that came to mind, I would write it down. Now, normally in a given yellow pad, I might have like 20 or 25 questions that people would have about this topic. The next thing I would do is I would start to number the questions. So in the first step, you don't think about flow or order or prioritizing. In the first step, you just do a mind dump of all the questions somebody would have about your topic, right? In the second step, you now start to number these in flow order. What I mean by flow order is, what's the very first question somebody's gonna have about that topic now, what's the second question after you answer the first question? Now, what's the third question after you answer the second question? And so on. So you want to order them in logical order, right? Priority order where second question builds on the first, the third question builds on the second. So then I would I do that. I would start to number them. I'd say, oh, number que question number one is here. It happens to be number one. Okay, good. Question number two, though, is not the second one I wrote. Question number two is right here, down here. So I put a number two. And I would do that. I would say question number three should be this one. I put number three there. Pretty soon I had questions and then I had numbers over here. And then I would put those numbers in the right order. And now I have the beginning of an outline for my course. Now the next step that I would do is I would break out a PowerPoint presentation and I would title, let's say it's 20 questions that we have here. I would title 20 different slides with each of the questions. So now I have a PowerPoint with 20 slides, right? Each one has one of the 20 questions. Then I would change some of those questions into statements or I would change them into benefit driven titles of a video. So now you have 20 potential videos that you're going to do for this course. Now that I have those 20 slides, I would start to create content under each of those slides. So maybe each slide, each of the 20 slides has three or four or five PowerPoint pages below it, like a subset of the title, right? So now what you've got is a title, let's say uh, beginning crypto, starting with cryptocurrency as a title, for example. And I might put in two or three bullet points and two or three things that I would talk about at, as that topic in PowerPoint slides. And I would do that for every one of those 20 slide points. So every one of those 20 slide points would now have a fleshed out presentation for each of those questions that we're answering. Now, the next step is I would add in images because we don't want a boring presentation. So I would add in images to that presentation. And the following step would be you record it. I would record the presentation using a tool called ScreenPal, ScreenPal.com. And I'd be able to basically put that PowerPoint on my screen, on my computer screen, and use ScreenPal to 
create a frame around that PowerPoint and record myself narrating the PowerPoint. Guess how many videos I'd had? 20 videos, right? One video for each question answered. And now you've got a course. You've got those 20 videos, those MP4 videos that you could then upload to either a self-hosted online course platform or a marketplace online course platform. Now that was the old way to do it. The new way to do it is so much easier, so much quicker and so much better and it's using ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, if you haven't used it before, is an amazing tool that is kind of a super brain. It's an AI tool and because it's a super brain, it thinks so much faster and it works so much faster than our human brain does. Now what you can do is ask ChatGPT, please give me the 20 most important things to answer about cryptocurrency. Boom, it gives it to you in seconds. Then you could say, for each one of these 20 points, please give me the three most important bullet points to cover for each of these 20. Boom, it gives it to you instantly. So now you've got 20 times three, right? You've got essentially 60 mini topics. And now you can put those into a PowerPoint presentation. Now, at the time of this recording, there may already be tools. Actually, I know there are tools uh, that will take those bullet points and put them and create a PowerPoint presentation for you. I'll have a link to one of those in the description below. But there are amazing tools like that that can actually now create your PowerPoint for you, which is incredible. And this tool that I'm going to point you to actually adds images. It adds graphs, graphics. It's amazing. It's an amazing tool. So all you do is give it your outline that you created in ChatGPT, put it in there. Now you've got a whole PowerPoint that you can now present. It's things that used to take me days <laughs> can now be done in minutes. And in fact, I created a course all about this strategy. I'll have a link to that course down below. It's a mini course. It's not my master class. My master class goes into great detail on everything you want to know about online courses. But this mini course will get you started on the right track. Now, the next thing you might want to do is ask ChatGPT to give you ideas for action guides for this course, mind maps for this course, flow charts, graphics, really anything you might need. ChatGPT can give it to you, can even create it for you. And now you pop those into your PowerPoint and you are good to go. You can start recording and in no time you'll have a course up and running on whatever platform you decide to put it on. So if you got some value out of this training, then be sure to get my free newsletter. It's down at the link in the description below. This free newsletter, I bring you all my latest videos, newest strategies, any new courses that I come out with. They're going to be available in that free newsletter. So you definitely want to be on that. And every month I do a giveaway of a $500 hotel gift card. So all you need to do is subscribe for free at the link in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go.